trust me. Hey friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A because it has been a hot ass minute since I just sat down and answered people's questions. So I posted on my Instagram story for people to ask me stuff and y'all came through, so thank you for that. Before I get started with the video, I just wanna say if you're new here, hello, welcome. Please be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below if you want to see more of me and give this video a like and follow me on Instagram. So yeah, without further ado, we'll just get right into the questions. So the first question says, how ready are you for college? Bro, mentally and emotionally, I am so ready for college. I don't know, I'm just excited for a new change and just to step into this new part of my life. Do you miss anything about high school? No. <laughs> I mean like like yeah I do but like overall just high school was a really interesting experience and I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm kind of just totally unbothered and like high school drama doesn't exist anymore and I'm just ready to move on so like do I miss stuff about high school yes but I'm more looking forward to college than missing high school someone said how would you describe your personality uh, it's a whole ass mess, probably. I'm not gonna lie. I got quite a few questions about my music, so I'm just gonna go rapid fire with all of them. So the first question that I got is, what propelled your love for music? So I, like, I've always been a musician, starting from when I was like four or five and I started taking piano lessons. Fun fact, my very first piano teacher made me cry all the time. It wasn't her fault, I was just a wimp. When I first did band, I played flute in band, and when like all the instruments came together and we all made this music, I was like so amazed at how so many different sounds can sound so good together. And then I remember also like watching Hannah Montana and Lemonade Mouth and I was like, I really want to be a singer. I've been writing songs for a long ass time, like since I was seven. None of them are good, I will say that, but I don't know, I just, growing up with music was really just what propelled my love for music, so yeah. The next two questions I'm gonna answer kind of like are the same thing. They are what inspired your EP and what inspires you when you write original music? My life, honestly, like my EP is called When I Was 17 and it's literally about things that happened when I was 17. So like whenever I write music, I always relate it back to my personal story and I also try to make it about something that I know a lot of people can relate to because music is supposed to touch people. That's what I want to do in like a, in like a non creepy way. What song are you most proud of on your EP? Okay, I'm just putting it out there. I am proud of all of my songs on my EP because obviously. But I think the song that I'm most proud of myself for being able to write is As the Sun Goes Down because like I wrote that when I was healing from a breakup and that was like, it was rough. I'm not gonna lie. And having to like tap into those emotions it was kind of hard, but at the same time, it was also cathartic because when you're writing songs, like, you have to be able to really feel those emotions and then being able to put them into words. That's like super hard because sometimes emotions are just really hard to explain. But I mean, I think I did a pretty decent job. I feel like it's the most raw song out of all of the songs on the EP, so... Yeah, I would have to say it as the sun goes down. Not a question, but hey Ash's vlog, I'm the girl who doesn't know how to say bilingual correctly. <laughs> that was Amanda, she's one of my closest friends. In my first city vlog she, where she was in, she said bilingual as bilingual. I think I have the clip, so I'll insert that. Don't have a new on your. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you love a bilingual queen. A bilingual? <laughs> <laughs> No. Now it's like an inside joke. It's so funny. Candy or chocolate? Chocolate. All the way. Are you planning on doing something special before you leave for college? Like a party? Um, no. <laughs> Throwing a party is way too much effort for me to deal with right now. I got quite a few BTS questions. 
but I don't want this entire video to be about them, so I'm just gonna talk about a few. The first one is, why are you so obsessed with BTS all of a sudden? Okay, <laughs> so the story is after years of my friends being really into them, um, I just grew to appreciate them on my own. As a musician, I want my songs to mean something. I want them to touch people. Their songs do that. The message behind the lyrics is really profound and their choreography is really synchronized and really complex. And to be able to have that memorized plus maintain stable vocals while performing, like that takes skill. I can get tired just by talking. So I don't know. I have a lot of respect for that. The next question is, can you sing a BTS song? I love your voice. Aw, thank you so much. And sure. Um None Kanchi Toro Choya to Jogam Shik Mara Choya Bogo Sheep the Bogo Sheep the Bogo Sheep the Bogo Sheep the That song was called Spring Day. It's a really good one. You should listen to it. Someone said what video editor do you use? Um, I use Final Cut Pro to edit all of my videos. I'm not the best at it yet. I'm still trying to figure out like a lot of the features that it has, but so far I really like it. It's got a lot of cool things that I can do with my videos. I know it's a little pricey too, but like making videos is something that I really love doing. It's a really fun hobby of mine, so it was worth the investment. But if you are looking to do that too, then start with iMovie, honestly. It's free and it's just like Final Cut Pro with less features, obviously, because you don't pay for it, but it's really good to start with. What's your biggest fear? Um, being stuck in a life that's unfulfilling, unsatisfying, and doesn't make me happy. Like, I don't know, I wanna be able to wake up and look forward to what the day has. I don't wanna dread the same routine over and over again, because that's not really living. What letter is silent in the word sent? The S or the C? Shit. Wait, bro, I don't know. Next question is, drop your skincare routine, you glow for the god. Thank you. Okay, I will be totally honest, I don't have a skincare routine, which sounds really bad, but like, really the only consistent thing that I do is wash my face every night. Other than that, it's like by a case to case basis. If my skin is dry, then I'll moisturize it. If it just needs an overall boost, then I'll do a face mask or something. But other than that, yeah, I don't really do much. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful with that. So that was all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sending in stuff for me to answer. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.